attempt failed, causing minor damage to the plane. So three days later, after repairs had been made, it was Orville's turn to attempt flight. Now, as they were getting ready to launch that craft, Orville and Wilbur kind of went to one side and had a little short conversation. The witnesses said when they left, they shook hands like two people that may never see each other again. Now they come back, he gets on board that craft, lays down in that pilot position there. Now Wilbur's got to take his place out on the wing. They're ready to go. Orville releases that wire and that craft starts down the rail. Wilbur's running along holding on to that wing, keeping up just fine until at 10.35 in the morning, 17 December 1903, it lifts into the air. And for the first time in the history of the world, we have controlled, powered flight. First flight, 12 seconds, only went 120 feet. But it was truly the first controlled, powered flight by man. Now they made three more flights that day, total of four flights, and they alternated. Wilbur made the fourth and the longest flight. The third flight was only 200 feet, but the fourth flight was 852 feet in 59 seconds. That really proved it to the world that they had really done it. What have we seen since then? I mean, we got a space station in orbit right now. I mean, we put a man on the moon. We have literally come from Wilbur's footprints in the sand right here to Neil Armstrong's footprints on the moon. Now, when Neil Armstrong landed on the moon, he had with him, had it tucked inside a spacesuit, he had a small patch of cloth from that original Wright Brothers 1903 powered flyer. And I can think of no finer tribute to the Wrights than that. That's all from the Wright Memorial. I'm out of here. Oh, but before I go, did you know that Orville Wright was not only the first person to fly, but he was also involved in the first fatal aircraft accident? The first person killed in an airplane accident was Lieutenant Thomas E. Selfridge. On September 17, 1908, airplane inventor Orville Wright took Lieutenant Selfridge up on a demonstration flight for the U.S. Army. During the flight, one of the propellers separated, causing Wright to lose control. The plane fell 75 feet to the ground, killing Lieutenant Selfridge, while Orville Wright suffered a broken leg and pelvis.